welcome to IT Boys Solutions. Today we will learn how you can uh, make your system as key based authentication uh, instead of username and password based authentication. So uh, it is step by step process you have to follow just these 10 steps and it will be done. Okay we will uh, look at these points one by one. Uh, let me log into my system. So this is my system. I'm going to log in it. So this system is user based authentication system right now. So I will enter my username and my password. Right. So this is my uh, a system which is username and password based authentication. So we will uh, quickly do it to a key based authentication so I will uh, split my screen in two parts so what is the first step login as a sudo user right so you should be login as sudo user enter password yeah here we go okay so what is saying that after login as a sudo user we have to change something in this file etc ssh ssd underscore config uh, my friend uh, this file sh can be uh, changed according to the os so you just have to locate ssh config file okay so i'm going to edit this file etc ssh ssh d underscore config right okay it's showing that it's uh, there is a swap file of this so we will delete that okay as it is showing that uh, okay come to the file it's showing that change below parameter from yes to no so is this is the parameter password authentication so this is yes that's why we are able to log in using password and username so we will uh, change it to no okay then just save it done now what you have to do is we need to restart its service means we have to reload ssh service so after uh, doing this we will restart it it is and it dot d ssh service and restart it so that effects will change it right so i forget to uh, enter this step here so let it be done right so what you have done you just uh, tell your system that please uh, don't take login using username and password okay okay now we will start the process so uh, i am just uh, getting out of root user right so i will go to my home direct as shown here cd i go to my home directory and after this there is uh, nothing as I can also yeah there is a dot ssh folder so I will remove it for you guys and will create again okay so you can see that there is nothing as uh, like dot ssh folder okay so we will create it mkdir dot ssh as you can see here uh, we check that is there a file or not so let's assume that it's not there so i just created it right and now we will enter to this folder okay and in this folder we need to create a file with this name right vm authorized keys right so just uh, leave it blank and save it okay now you will be able to see that there is a file blank file with this name okay so what is the purpose of this file we will store our public key here 
okay so first of all uh, let me explain <laughs> what is the concept of key based authentication and okay let's assume this is uh, your system right and no 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 okay okay this is your system this is your home like right so at your home there is a lock it's it's a lock right and to open this lock you have a key right so this is as simple as that this is your system you have to lock it you have to apply a lock on it right so after that you will be need a key to open it right so this was a very simple formula so what uh, what we are going to do uh, to put an lock here we just putting public file and this file will be the private file let's see in the video till the end so you will get understand okay so uh, we have to create a key so i, I am using putty generate here to generate my key right so click on generate and keep moving your cursor in this blank area so it will create your key if you stop moving so it will stop creating your key so just keep moving it will create your key it will give us two type of key one is public key and one is private key private key is you can say that your key to open your lock and public key is your lock so this is our public key okay I am copying it to my notepad at the end of this yeah I copied it and now I have to save my private key so private key is the main key to open our system so I am saving it I'm yeah. it will ask me for where I want to save it so I am just giving the key name so this is key for which uh, user user one so I just saved it you can close it <coughs> so friends uh, in this file you just created open it and paste this content right this content which you got f after generating key so now I will exit it and save it done okay friends go back to step this after generate after key generation process copy public key content which we copied here right content of the file key in this after generation process copy public content of the key in this file right note that please change username accordingly which username this one if you have user with name Rahul Ajay and all that so just replace it with that okay next is save private key at your local machine as we shown in video okay and the last task we need to do is to assign permissions we need to assign some permissions to whom to this folder dot ssh and to this file so these are uh, the some flow chart of these permissions right so we will go to home directory ls hyphen la so we just need to do this this is permission i think seven seven five right so just we need to do it like seven zero zero after assigning this permission so you will be able to see that its permission will be changed from this to this this is seven zero zero so it is compulsory we have to provide seven zero zero okay so now you can say that uh, its owner is user one so it is must the owner will be the uh, home user right so the next is what we have to change the permission of authorized key file as well if you want to see what is the current permission okay let go inside and check it's uh, five five four right so we just we will change it to this sorry okay so now you will see its permission is 644 and owner is user 1 if its owner is same as you logged in so don't run this command or you can also run to verify it so just go back 
and run this command sorry my user is user1 so please uh, replace your uh, username according what you have okay so my friend it's done now uh, we just need to log in using key okay I'm going to log in now I just open this just and uh, this is nothing uh, just forget it and enter your public IP or any host name of your server here and go to this SSH this one and in SSH you will find authentication so what is demanding right now it is asking for your key just to do browse and find user key here so this is our key it is in PPK format means private key so open now you will be login as key based authentication so now friends it will ask for username only user one enter so as you can see that what is saying that authentication with public key okay so this is more secure than username and password I hope you will like this video and uh, <coughs> I will copy this content in my comment of this video so please uh, go through and uh, you can uh, learn quickly and uh, one more thing my friends uh, you can ask any question at this mail itboysin at the red gmail dot com and let me know if you have any doubt in this concept the key based concept is very good concept and one more thing instead of having key base only and username password only you can combine it means you can use password and key base both means here it, it detects only the key so it will also ask you for password if you want to add that password means it will be a two step authentication like gmail is using like otp and but you also have your password so here same you can do that you can also do that password and key both means uh, your system will check for both thanks thank you friends and uh, please like if you got understand please don't like if you don't understand how to do key based authentication have a good day